hello guys and welcome to another tesla update video i just got this update at 9 pm last night and uh, in the new update i got some updated information about navigate on autopilot beta which does not require the line change i got that in the previous update uh, i'm not sure what has changed but they just put it there so i really didn't get the chance to test it out Another thing that Tesla added, something called software update. And now in the dash settings, it will show you if there is an update. But say you don't have a good Wi-Fi connection, so you can still download it um, when you're connected to Wi-Fi. Previously, you didn't know whether um, you got an update or not, because say your car is not connected always to a Wi-Fi hotspot at night. You really don't know. But now Tesla will show you that, so you get the chance to connect to a good Wi-Fi and download the update. So this is awesome news for all those Tesla owners who don't have a Wi-Fi connection all the time to their cars. Say those are the ones who live in apartment complexes and, and such. Um, update on Tesla Atari, so more Atari games. I don't know what's going on with this. Um, I'm not a big fan of any of this stuff. I, would, I wish Tesla would spend more time doing other useful stuff, maybe improving um, whatever they can do in the car rather than spending it on these stupid games. Um, sentry mode update. Um, so I didn't see anything new here, um, so I'm just going to skip that. Dashcam can now record and store videos. We already know that. And... Hold and behold, now you have an additional language support. So finally, additional languages beside English is coming to Tesla's. They improve the speed of the web browser, which is nice, you know. And they said for auto steer stoplight warning that uh, the release contains minor improvements and bug fixes. I don't know, but uh, we'll take Tesla other words. I tried to test it out during the night. It didn't show me anything about a red light signal. So heading to the settings of the car, if I go to display, now I'm presented with two options here. One is called language. Under language, you have all these languages, English, Espanol, Francais, French Canadian, Italiano, Netherlands, um, Japanese, Korean, and Chinese, Taiwan, and Hong Kong, and regular. Under navigation language is now you get the voice instruction in Spanish and French Canadian, which is nice. So I still don't see Arabic. I would love to see Arabic for all those uh, Arabic people in the Middle East. Um, you probably either get your language here or you're still looking forward to have more languages, but the good news is that Tesla is finally adding language support to Tesla software, which is cool because that means in the future we're gonna get um, future languages. So let's try and see like how it looks when you. Oh, it will require a system restart. Um, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is, I guess for now. Um, well, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's see how it looks. And there you go guys, uh, this is kind of cool, you know, how this looks. So let's go to display and check other options. So everything now is in Japanese, that's nice. So, good news for you guys who got this language support. Let's move it back to English. So that was language support. And finally, if you go to software, now you're presented with um, not only the version 9 software, but also now navigation data has their own reference as well. So I guess this would be nice for testing autopilot stuff. You know, or reporting any issues with autopilot. 
now you get to see it here so that was a quick tour with the tesla software update i hope you guys enjoyed the video till then see you in the next one take care